I heard a lot of people have kind of struggled with being able to connect with devices on a web interface with their phone, and there's two particular reasons why that might occur. Hi, I'm Malik Agreb, CEO and engineer of Elite Automation. Today we're going to be connecting our mobile phone to an industrial web interface over Wi-Fi. Basically, we're going to be connected to a web interface over Wi-Fi with our phone. I heard a lot of people have kind of struggled with being able to connect with devices on a web interface with their phone, and there's two particular reasons why that might occur. We're gonna go ahead and jump into my phone real quick, and I'm gonna take you through the processes of why you may be having an issue. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by trying to log into this web interface. And to do so, we need to go into our Wi-Fi settings, uh, we're currently connected to alien.net. We need to get off of that network and we need to log on to our industrial device. And so our industrial device is going to be the MOAX access point. This wireless access point we're going to essentially log into. We're going to give it a second so there's no internet access. It's going to kick off uh, quite a few times. If you click into the settings here in a second, uh, right there, you'll be able to see it says no internet and you want to make sure it says no internet right there because that's just going to indicate to you that you are actually connected if you're not connected it'll say disconnected and then you don't even have a wi wireless signal there so just keep that in mind now that we're connected to our industrial device we need to go to google chrome and for demonstration purposes i'm going to show you that it's currently not working so 192.168.4.255 Hit OK. And basically this thing's going to try to run. It's not going to have access. And the, the number one reason why you're not connecting is, if you see at the top of my screen right here, notice that you see the 5G and you see your network bars. So that indicates that essentially you're accessing your phone's data network. And with that being said, essentially you're not connected through your phone's Wi-Fi network card. So what you need to do is go to your settings here and put your phone in airplane mode. After you put it in airplane mode, it'll kick your Wi-Fi off. So you need to turn your Wi-Fi back on. So we need to go back to this screen here because we need to, we're gonna go ahead and click that. Go ahead and go into settings because I wanna make sure that we're seeing this no internet access thing again. Signal strength good, no internet access. Uh, kind of keep letting it do its kick in and out. I would observe this because you want to ensure that you actually have a wireless connection with the device because if you don't have a wireless connection, you'll never be able to connect. Now that you have a wireless connection, I'm going to try to log into the web interface one more time. So we're going to go 192.168.4.253. As you can see here, we now have access to the MOAX. Now there's a secondary reason why you wouldn't connect and you would actually not have connected with this initially, but I have already went through here and done this process so my settings were changed from whenever I went through a test run of this video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over here to our Wi-Fi. So what you need to do is you need to go into your edit mode, which is this little pencil right here at the top. So I click into that and we'll scroll down a little bit and where it says IP settings. Notice it's set to static right now. Uh, normally it'll be set to a DHCP, and what you'll need to do is you'll need to assign yourself a static IP address the same way you would on a computer. So you click into that, change it to a static, and now you have the ability to type in an IP address. Now the IP address that you use, you want it to be on the same subnet scheme. So for example, it needs to be 192.168.4 for this particular device because that's what our device is set up for right now. Now, our device is set up as a 253, so we need to ensure that our phone's IP address needs to be something different than that. So a 254 uh, will work or anything else. As long as there's not any other thing connected on that network. Now, if you have like a mobile autonomous robot and it's also connected to other de peripheral devices, then you may want to ensure that you don't have an IP conflict with a I.O. module and then have the mirror lose connectivity to an I.O. module because essentially then you're going to take the line down. So what we're going to go ahead and do here is we're going to save our settings. As you've seen before, we were able to access the MOAX, but we're going to go ahead and go into it one more time. So we're going to type in 192.168.4.253.
go ahead and go on to it and I'm just gonna show you us logging into this thing. Now, depending on the device and how they set up their web interface, it may be mobile friendly or it may not, but at least you now have access to the device with your mobile device. So passwords root, log in, and now we have full access to this device. You can see the IP address is 192.168.4.253. And you're able to come in here and configure any of these settings of this device now. So guys, hopefully if you're struggling with that, this video was helpful. Uh, if you'd like for us to come in and set up an access point on your machinery so you can access it with your phone like this, don't hesitate to reach out. We also specialize in robotic cells, so anything to do with a robotic cell. So that may include uh, vision, line tracking, anything along those lines. So if it's inside of a robot cell, it's generally something that we work with and we specialize in. So feel free to reach out uh, if you feel like there's an application that you'd like for us to look at or if you overall just need assistance with trying to find an application. If you just know that you need to automate and you don't know what direction to go, we also offer consulting services to be able to do that as well. Thank you guys for sticking around. Hopefully this solved your issues and we'll catch you in the next one.